Okay. Hello, I'm Bracha Shore with Sweet and Good Catering, and again, we're coming to you to give you a fun, easy appetizer for Thanksgiving. This is another huge crowd pleaser. It's called Sweet Potato Bites. What we're going to do is we're going to cut up the sweet potato into quarter inch coins. So that means you end up with circles. This part still has the skin on it, but we're going to just pull that out. We'll go ahead and keep going, and what you're looking for is to get as many as you can out of your sweet potato. The thinner the sweet potato, the sweeter it is, typically speaking. And also it works out better for this appetizer to have a smaller circle that, rather than one of those huge circles. So now you've got your sweet potatoes. I like to use Ziploc bags because then I don't have to wash a bowl afterwards. So I'm throwing the, the sweet potatoes in. I also find that with the shaking, they get coated better. I'm going to take two tablespoons of oil, a teaspoon or so of maple syrup, put it in the Ziploc bag and shake, 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 shake. And what I'm looking for is to get, have it be coated. Once it's coated, I'm going to take a pan, spray it, and then you can throw your sweet potatoes in and then they should be in one layer. If they're in one layer, they cook more evenly. So we're spreading it into a layer, whatever will fit. I'm going to try to get it all in because, you know, once you have it, why not? And now we're going to put this in the oven. Hello. Okay, now we're going to put it in the oven. It's a 350 oven. It's going to stay in for 20 minutes. 10 minutes in, you flip them just so that they cook evenly. Here it goes. And we're going to pull out the ones. We already have ready for you. I really need to remember to get the oven mitt, but I forget. Okay, so now you have your sweet potatoes. They're cooked, so they're soft. What we'll do now is we'll sprinkle with salt. The salt really brings out the flavor. It's a flavor enhancer. So I'm putting the coarse salt pretty liberally on each coin. And then, once that's done, I will put half a mush marshmallow on each. The truth is you can put a whole marshmallow. I know, I love marshmallows too. But a whole marshmallow ends up being very big for this coin. So I like splitting it in half. And then once it's split in half, you can just put them on. Um, like this, and then they'll go, if you have a broiler, you can put it in a broiler for about 45 seconds. Once the broiler is going and kicked on, about 45 seconds, you really want to watch it. I, the last time I did this, blackened my marshmallows, so that's not fun, then we had to start over. So, 45 seconds, I'm actually going to put it in a 400 degree oven, so it's going to take a little longer, probably about two minutes. Okay, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now we pulled them out of the oven. So here they are. They're, if you like them less brown, watch them closer. Don't run outside and take a picture. So <laughs> once you get these done, now you can put pecans in the middle. So you could put them in. You could either put them on top or you can actually stuff them in. Both ways work nicely, whatever you like. So it'll, you'll have a pecan on each. Then after you have the pecan, um, you can take a brush or a spoon or if if what you have is a finger, rub some of the maple syrup on top. This is going to help what I'm putting on top stick is the plan. So rub on top and again just looking for my next ingredients, ingredient to stick. And then I'm going to drizzle, well I kind of drizzle, the bacon. Now this is beef bacon, this is actually corned beef. And then what you want is to drizzle it on top so there's pain. <laughs> None of them are staying. It stays on the, the bite. So your sweet potato bite has pecan. It has sweet potato. It's going to have corned beef and the marshmallow. And they are absolutely amazing. So now let me try one right here in front of you. Um, mm. 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 